All right, what's your name? My name is Douglas. Douglas? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Douglas, how old are you? I'm, six, I'm uh, 58 years old. 58, okay, where are you from? Originally born in Evansville, Indiana, raised in Georgia, lived in Miami for all for long, 30 years. Okay, and how long you been here? Oh, uh, I just got out of prison nine days ago, but I was here once before, about two years ago. Oh, you the second person that's done told me that. Like, yeah. got out of prison and came here, was here before, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Um, you have any family around here or anything? Uh, right now, none. I have none. I, I lost my wife in January. Oh, man, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, man, S sincerely. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay, mm -hmm. so you just didn't have anywhere to go when you got released from I prison? I came here because, you know, I... I, my whole intention was maybe come here because I'm, I'm a veteran, so I'm working on getting a veteran's house, mm. and in the process, come maybe come back work for the place. In the process, what? And after I come back and work here as a cook and a oh, or something like that. Oh, you can come back and work here. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay, so there, what you have like a case manager or something that's helping uh, you yes. out? Okay, you have any kids? No, ma'am. I got no kids, no, ma'am. No kids. No. Okay, and you said your your wife recently. My wife passed away in January. Passed January's away. January. Yeah. Were y'all like together? I know you were, we were together fourteen years. 14 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, how'd you end up in this situation from the beginning? Oh, uh, cause you said you were here before. Well, originally I want to play a lot of right. other things and point fingers the other way, but I can't, I got to point fingers at myself and the bad decisions that I made. Yeah. Oh, uh, the things like the pandemic didn't help. Oh, uh, addiction didn't help. What's your drug of choice? Well, it used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it used to be cocaine at one time. Okay. Yeah. Now it's nothing. I'm trying to do nothing. Okay. It's hard to struggle and working on it and work on it every day. Does it make it harder being out here in this type of situation? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's what, hard to struggle to wake up every morning. What, uh, what keeps you going? God. The man above, my Christ, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You got to have faith, man. Mm -hmm. Lying people. Mm -hmm. So when you were growing up as a child, you know, in Indiana, Illinois, right? Indiana. Indiana. Yes, Black state. All right. Um, mm -hmm. I liked Indiana. I drove mm -hmm. semi trucks over the road. Mm -hmm. I stayed out there in Illinois for a while. But anyway, what was life like growing up, you know, for you as a child? And did you have siblings? Well, I have. I had uh, five younger siblings. I was a my next older sibling was eight years older than me, so they were already, by the time I'm eight years old, they're out of the house. Mm. I had a very, uh, my daddy was a former Marine, but he was also a, a bad drinker, mm. real abusive. Um, mother died when I was three, so I never knew my mother. Who, my stepmother who, uh, didn't like me. Oh, okay, so your stepmom raised you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Um, so your your dad, is he still living? No, nobody's living. I have nobody living in member of my family, siblings or nothing anymore, except me. Wow. Yeah. Aunts, uncles? Nobody. But okay. I know of. That I can recall. My last two living members of my family, my oldest brother and oldest sister, died two weeks apart in July of 21. Mm. How long you did in prison? This time I just did a little skid bid, 15 months. 15 months? How many times you been to prison? 10. You been to prison 10 times? Yes, ma'am. Holy moly. Yep. Okay. You going back? Nope. What's going to keep you out this time? I got misery. Tired. It's the worst time I ever did in my life. This time I almost got killed. Man, I'm done. Somebody stabbed you. Somebody tried to kill my throat. What happened? I had to fight with gang members. They didn't like it. I stood up for myself. They handled my business. They didn't like it. Put a hit out on me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Um, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen in life? In life? Like something that just blew your mind. When I blew a kid's head off in the desert. You was in the military, you said? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Had to because he was coming in our battalion. He had, he had a 20 pounds of TNT strapped in. And it was, it was a life of, life of decision to kill him. And I, from this day, I always, I always, I have nightmares over it. I was gonna ask you yet, yeah. does that, do you have like any PTSD or yeah, any trauma yeah. or anything from that? Yeah. Um, wow, okay. How long did you do in the military? I did a little over, I did a little over six years. Six years? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, what makes you happy in life? Making other people happy. I get that a lot when I ask Making that question. Happy. That's you what's know, up. That means you're not having selfish. A couple, having a couple of good friends that you can say, hey, yeah, they're honest to your friend, not because you got something, because you, or maybe because you want something. 
You know, there's, you want something in life, and you want to be a friend, you know? Yeah. You know, because uh, even though I'm older, it ain't over. I still got a long way to go. Yeah. When you were younger, you know, what were some of your dreams and aspirations? Well, I was supposed to have been a, I was supposed to be a professional football player or basketball player. Really? Yep. Dad wouldn't let me sign me and made me go in the Marine Corps. Wouldn't sign without every consent. Mm. No. Wow. Mm. Okay. You play uh, sports in school or anything? Yes. Yeah, I played, uh, played uh, uh, defensive end, defensive tackle, football. I played power forward and forward in, in basketball. Okay. Okay. Um, now, all your siblings, you said they were older than you, correct? Yes. Okay. Are they all deceased? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yeah, everybody. Okay, let me ask you this. Um, mm -hmm. How does it make you feel knowing that all of your people are gone? Lonely. How does that affect you? Lonely. You know, because sometimes in the dark of night, when you don't have nobody to cry out to, it gets real lonely. Yeah. yeah. And, okay. What kind of services do you get here? Uh, I'm working on getting the veterans housing. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as, as vast housing with me, my own house. Uh, I've still got to work going in the casework and see what else I can get because I've been kind of delaying it because I figured I was going to go and get my housing. Because if I put too much service in here, I can't come back and work for them, you know? Yeah. For over a year or so. Yeah. But I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to, though. Where do you sleep at? Uh, over here, a little there. Yeah. You don't Nine. have a tent? Mm. Mm. Man. Okay. Um. If you could go and do anything for a day, what would you do? Mm. Something fun. Where you? Something where you could just enjoy yourself. Anything, anything in the world. Anything in the walk world. With walk with Jesus one day. Walk with Jesus. Well, you can do that now. Well, no, I'm talking in the physical form. Physical back form. <laughs> see how they see how he lived it because I watch that show Chosen all the time. I love it. It puts it to it makes it a reality in my life. Chosen. Okay, I gotta look yeah. for that. I'm not familiar with that. Um, okay, and so they you they feed you and stuff here. Three meals a day, which really don't feed you. Keep you surviving, keeping you alive. But yeah, yeah. yeah. You have um, like clothes and yeah. Shoes. I gotta get a few of them. I gotta get some more. Yeah. I got some stuff. I'm going to let you look at I even got some new stuff. Yeah, that's fine. You know, in here. Hopefully some of that can help you out. Yeah, it will. Um, you don't have any pets out here with you or anything? No, no, no. But I'm, once I get work, I'm, I'm Lord willing, I get, I get this phone yeah. today. I go back to work, day labor, and I get my phone. And I give me something. And I give me them. So you're going to get a phone? Yeah, I'm hoping to, hoping to today. Okay. You get a like a monthly income? Uh, I don't get no income right now. Mm. I'm working on getting Social Security disability, but... Uh, that's, you know, that's, that's legal. That takes forever. But you was in the military. Yeah, but after I wasn't in the pool 20 years. Mm. So I just get certain benefits. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, If you had any piece of advice based off your own life experience, you know, what would you tell the younger generation? Always remember it can get worse. Always remember? It can get worse. It can get worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have some nice eyes, too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Okay. All right. Um, well, thank you so much, you yes, know, for doing this interview, telling your story. Um, we're going to see what to do. And, um, you know, I, I never want to see people out here every time I come, you know, but yes, um, we'll do a follow up. Do you have a cash shop or anything that if somebody want to donate to you that uh, I can put I can, on I there? Have to, I have to, I got to open it up. Yeah, I got one. Okay. All right. You can give that to me. And then when I post the video, I'll put it on there for you. All right. Um, I'll have to give you another. Okay. Let me show you the again. Okay.